On the Resource Gantt chart, you have the capability to sort and highlight. Using the button Filter Sort Resources, you can select the resources to display in the Resource Gantt chart. Moreover, you can drag and drop the work centers to define the sequence in which you want to display the work centers. So now you can display the work center MAC4 before the MAC12 work center. By using the highlight work order, you can draw attention to the different operations related to the current work order. All other operations are grayed out. In addition, the sequence between operations is highlighted with arrows. Using the focus and an appropriate scale, you can display all operations of the work order in the same screen. Using the techniques we learned previously, we can move the start date of an operation. In case of breakdown, you can use the close button to define a period that is not available on the work center. You can enter a description to specify the cause of the closure of the work center. The scheduling automatically adapts to the new constraint and postpones the operation initially scheduled on the close period. In the same way, we can use the Open button to extend the opening hours of the work center. In case of error, the button Delete Exceptions removes unusual closures and openings. Then the operation is scheduled again using its original period.